south west on the right wing of Plymouth Bay Cup and Cathedral. The Queen's Baton is in Aberdeen City tomorrow. It's largely dry and cloudy, but the winds will be light. The afternoon, highs of 50. That's the forecast. How's it going, Roy? <clears throat> Good weekend? Just checking the forecast there this morning and not really expecting much more now until Thursday. So this morning, um, John will be changing holes. Um, Davey, if yourself and Kyle, cut fairways. Um, cut them left to right. Um, Ian, if you can roll uh, after Isaac, George and Graham cut screens, uh, a few guys cut them right to left, do anti-clockwise clean up and just keep the brushes up here. Yeah. Stuart if you can do the first cut and play a walkways here. Yeah. Alright cool. <laughs> Preparations for the Ryder Cup are going very well. Um, we've had a lot of activity going on uh, on the golf course over the last 12 months, uh, particularly through last winter uh, in terms of drainage works and aerification and sanding uh, of the golf course. And that's continued this season uh, into, into the summer period where we are just now. I think our, our biggest challenge will undoubtedly be whatever the weather throws at us. Um, see, the end of September in Scotland can be a fantastic period of, of, of weather. However, it can also represent some stiff challenges. Uh, we saw that at Celtic Manor during the 2010 Ryder Cup and also at the K Club and in Ireland, the 2006 Ryder Cup. So the weather will, will probably present us with the biggest challenge that we'll face, I suggest. Paul McGinley's visited with us on uh, three different occasions now um, since he became captain to specifically look at the golf course. It's been very much a, a two-way conversation, so he's put forward to us what he would like to see and then we've discussed that um, to see how we can facilitate those suggestions and bring to reality what, what he's looking for. The role of the greenkeeper is critical in the staging of, um, of a big event such as the Ryder Cup. For us, it's, it's really just a question of taking it to the next level when, we've, when we're preparing for what is the biggest golf event in the world. As green speed goes, we try and have an average daily speed here of around about 10 feet. For tournament play, uh, we look to get a green speed of around 11 feet. The important thing with, with green speed is making sure that all 18 greens are the same. Uh, one thing that certainly professional golfers don't like is having an inconsistency of speed. If we produce the best surfaces that we can, then the golfer that, that, that plays best uh, and utilises that surface to the best of his abilities will, will, will prevail and will come out on top. When it comes to September, irrespective of whether the, the sun's shining or if there's a bit of rain about, uh, whether the course plays long or short, ultimately it will be the best golfers on the day will win their matches, win the points and ultimately win the Ryder Cup. 